how it's up guys so today we're going to continue our series and we're going to be fixing the issues that we have with the weapon system uh specifically the weapon traces and all of that stuff so uh let's begin first thing we need is go to the uh weapon system folder and open the bp weapon that we created before and Basically, uh, the way that this was working before is the character will trigger this fire events uh, to basically start shooting, right? And the way we're going to do this is basically make sure that the weapon will have uh, all that functionality and will know how to handle all of that instead of uh, passing everything from the character. So first thing we're going to do is over here on the overlap events that we created before, we're going to delete all of this. We're going to move the unbind right here and connect it and we can delete this variable over here. Now, next thing we're going to do here is copy the sphere and say destroy components just to make sure that uh, I don't want to be uh, using this anymore. So next thing is from the other actor, we're going to cast to a generic character reference. So cast to character over here. And um, we're going to promote this into a variable, okay, and call it character, okay. Now, next thing we're going to do is from here, we're going to say get owner to get the replicated owner of uh, our character. Okay. And on this blueprint, we're going to say set owner. And basically, we're going to uh, set the owner of this BP weapon to be the owner of our character. Okay. So this is just a replicated function that will allow us to uh, use server functions directly inside of this blueprint. So we're basically going to own the blueprint. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do is from the character, we're going to say is locally controlled. We're going to check if it is locally controlled. And uh, we can say branch. So if uh, the character is locally controlled, we're going to say enable, enable uh, inputs, this one, okay? So uh, we can connect this here and we can uh, say get player controller to fill up this pin, okay? Now, this will basically allow us to use keys directly inside of this blueprint. So this way, I don't need to be triggering the key from my character to the weapon. So each weapon will have uh, their own keys and will know how to handle all that process. So over here um, on the fire logic that we have, instead of this events, we can now replace this by any key that we want. So here I'm going to say left mouse button. And on the fire on, we can delete it. And this will be our on press event. And on the fire off from the close, we're going to connect to the on release event. Okay. So that's basically it. We can move this a little bit like this. And uh, now we should be able to use our keys. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do is uh, also replicate the camera values directly on this blueprint instead of passing it um, from the character. So over here, we're going to say add um, custom event. We're going to call this set camera. We're going to duplicate this one and call it set camera server. And this one is going to run on the server. And this one is going to be a multicast. Okay. Now uh, we're going to create two variables to store our uh, camera values. So here we're going to create a new variable called camera location, which will be a vector and another one, which will be the camera forward. Okay. Now uh, both of these variables we're going to set to replicate it. Okay. Like this and compile save and that's it. Now we can grab this over here and say set and this one over here and say set. So we're going to set both of these values on this event like this. And uh, the values will come from the event itself like this. And um, now on this server event, we're just going to call the client event. So set camera and connect the pins over here. And that's basically it. So we can uh, comment this and say replicate camera. 
Okay, can move this here, and that's it. Now uh, we need to call this event. So here, before we fire, we can move this here and say set camera server. <clears throat> Um, like this, so just connect it, and over here we can say get camera manager, we can say get actor location, and here we can say get actor forwards vector, this one, okay? So this way we have the location and we have the forwards vector, okay? That's basically it. Um, this way we can uh, pass the values directly from the client to the server uh, without uh, needing to passing them to um, from the character over here, okay? Now, uh, next thing we're going to do is make sure that we are using these uh, values on our traces. So this trace camera function that we created, we can open it up. And over here we had this function which would uh, get the the values from the character and all of that. So we're going to replace by these ones. So here we can just uh, drag this here and say get, and this one and say get. Now we can uh, control click this and drag it to the location, and control click this one and drag it to the forward vector. Now we can delete the get camera function. We can organize all of this. And that's basically it. So now we should be using uh, the new camera values on our traces. Okay. Um, so now next thing we're going to do is uh, go to the construction script and delete uh, all this stuff. So the update values function, the replicated function over here, the update values function over here, and the weapon name variable, we can also delete it. Okay. Now, uh, Next thing we need to delete as well is this other actor because we are no longer using it. So we're just going to say find references and over here we're just going to replace it by our new character variable that we created. So here just drag it in and it should replace the variable. So just go on here to every place and replace the uh, variable. Like this, compile, save and now we should be able to delete the other actor variable. And that's basically it. Now, um, the last thing uh, we need to do as well is uh, make sure that we uh, replicate the fire event. So over here, um, this fire custom event that we have here, we're going to change it to multicast. Okay. Now uh, here, we're going to add a custom event and call it fire server. We're going to change this to run on the server. And here we're just going to call the fire events. Okay. Now uh, over here, when we fire, we need to make sure that we are calling the server event and not the client event. So here we can say fire server. And this should uh, basically replicate our fire. Now uh, we're just going to... Um, clean this up a little bit so everything uh, should be okay I guess now uh, we still have this um, interface being used over here so we're just going to remove it because uh, so just click no we're not going to use it anymore so compile save and uh, on the uh, construction script uh, one thing that we're going to do is basically make sure that we uh, set this skeletal mesh to a mesh that is a variable that we are going to use. Okay, so here we can just grab this and say set skeletal mesh, this one, and connect this over here. And this new mesh will be a variable and call it mesh, move it over here. And uh, now if you go to class defaults, you should see uh, all these properties here, which um, we are going to change on the child blueprints of this class. So uh, before we were using the update values function to update all of these properties based on the weapon name. Uh, and now we're going to use child blueprints to uh, basically um, use different blueprints with different properties. Uh, and this way is way more optimized. Okay. So uh, one thing to make sure is that you set these uh, blueprints on class defaults to replicates. Okay. Just make sure you check that so that everything works nice. 
now um, everything should be uh, okay now uh, everything is clean uh, nothing is left unused now uh, we can close this blueprint and over here we're going to right click and say create child blueprint create a bp pistol and another child blueprint and bp rifle okay <clears throat> so if you open it up you should see all these properties right here on the right so the mesh will be uh, the pistol the fire rate i'm going to change it to 0.1 because this fire logic is a little bit um uh, different in time so this will be uh, the right uh, fire rate now this is not going to be automatic uh, the weapon sound will be the fire cue the emitter will be the pistol flash and that's basically it so i can compile and save and now i can go to the bp rifle and do the same thing so uh m41 here the fire rate 2.1 this one will be automatic and um the sound i'm going to use the same and the emitter will be uh the assault rifle muzzle flash okay so compile save and as you can see we should have all the weapons in this format and we can now use them on our tables so if we go to the inventory table, uh, categories, weapons, weapons table, on the pistol, we can set the actor blueprint to be uh, the respective uh, blueprint that we created. So BP pistol in this case, okay. And on the rifle, we can set it to BP rifle, okay, just like this. So now we should be using the new fire logic and all the fire weapon stuff so uh, as you can see everything seems to be working nice um and everything is being triggered uh from the weapon okay now um one of the last things i'm going to do is basically clean up the character because we're not going to need a few stuff so on the third person blueprints open it up and for example, this fire stuff that we have, we no longer need to be uh, firing the weapon from here. Um, on the replication graph, we no longer need to get the camera from here, okay? And um, this fire replication, we no longer need to be doing it as well, okay? That's basically it. This way, everything stays way cleaner and everything works nicely now this camera function was being used over here on the get camera function so you can just delete it and um, on the class settings we have this bpi interact right which has uh, essentially these interface functions so we no longer need the get weapon name or the get camera okay so we can uh, close this one we can go to um the inventory to the bpi interact and we can delete these functions that are not being used so this one over here and the get camera as well compile save and if we go back to our character okay we can close this up and we should no longer have those interface functions over here okay that's basically it so everything is uh, way cleaner uh, the character no longer has um, the need to, to handle the fire logic, okay? So each weapon will be able to take care of itself and basically uh, use the all the same logic replicated to all of the child blueprints that we have, okay? Now, I can also show you this on the server. So if we go and play with three players, here we go. The final tests let's see if this is working yes it is working okay so as you can see you should have no more problems with uh, the weapon traces um, because basically everything is being done directly on the weapons and uh, it's way cleaner this way so uh, I hope you liked it guys uh, I hope you learned something with it and don't forget to subscribe